Hey guys, thank you for checking out my first video. I really appreciate the feedback and the views. Um, but this video, this next video is going to be about me. I'm going to give you a little of different things about me. I can't cover all of it because that would take forever. But I'm going to cover just the uh, uh, main things about me. Um, so let's get to it. My full name is Elijah James Sanchez, but I go by EJ Sanchez so that you don't have to say all that. Um, I was born in Boise, Idaho on the West Coast, um, but up until 1999, we moved out over here in Richmond, Virginia, my family and I, um, for many reasons, but the main reason was because um, my grandfather had started a church out here, and so my father said, you know what, I, you know, I feel that my grandfather needs the help over here, so we moved out over here, and uh, ever since then, I've been living here and it's been I don't remember much of Idaho when I was little I mean I've gone there I've gone back there a couple of times to um to visit my grand grandparents and for my family they see a lot of changes for me I don't really remember it much uh, I do remember uh, my grandparents of course um, but I was basically born in Idaho but raised in Virginia um, I really enjoy over here. For those of you who've never been to Virginia, it's actually a very beautiful place. It's very historical. Um, there's a lot of great parks here. Um, so, you know, if you ever get a chance to come out here, you know, you, you won't lose your money because it's a, it's a good trip out here. Moving out here was actually a big di difference for us. It was a sh the climate was different. It was really humid over here and we weren't used to that. Um, but there's a lot more pollen over here. Uh, for those of you who have allergies, yeah, it, it stinks being over here, but thankfully I don't have allergies, so kind of doesn't really bother me. But <laughs> for me, it was, because of, I was so small and young when we moved, the change wasn't as big. Now for my sister, it was that's a different story. She was about maybe 10 when we moved, when we moved here, so it was kind of a big change for her. But um, when we moved out here, it was... Uh, almost a almost a cultural shock for us because it was again everything was different than Idaho so we had to adapt we had to you know get used to you know the climates and all that but you know I can say that over here is very pretty um, there's some very beautiful landscapes and there's a lot of history in Virginia um, so in a way you know a lot of people tend to think well moving out of your state you know or just moving is always bad but me, I'm, I'm a optimistic type of person. You know, I always look at the bright side of things, and to me, it was, it was a good change. You know, to me, when I move, or when our family moves to different houses, it's like, you know, I always see how moving as like a new change, like a new start. Um, so for me, I always tend to look on the bright side of things, and that's how I viewed it when we moved out here to Virginia. Although uh, I grew up in, you know, the urban area near the city and all that, you know for the most part um, there are certain parts of me that I still love the country um, I I may dress like a businessman I may dress all um, fancy and all that but somewhere deep down here wherever <laughs> um, I love the country every time I see mountains or every time I see just grass fields you know that always is like oh my god you know it's a it's a great feeling so um, I get a lot of weird looks you know when they see me dressing kind of like country-ish you know uh, because they say well I thought you were, I thought you were born here you know I thought you were born in Virginia or you know I thought you were you know the, the classy type of guy and I'm like well I am but there's still some type of country strain in me somewhere down there um, but I'm really actually loving living out here though. There's a lot of great people out here. There's a lot of uh, cool stores out here. One of the many things I love doing actually is of course playing music. Uh, I've My first instrument that I learned how to play was drums. That was I learned that back when I was three years old and I wasn't just hitting pots and pans. I actually had a drum set um, and I actually could play rhythms. I had a God bless me with a great talent to where I was able to play the drums at such an early age. Um, and so I've been playing it ever since I was three. Um, when I turned maybe 
I believe it was 11 years old when I picked up the bass guitar. Didn't really get into it. I only picked it up because we had a couple guitar classes at our church. Um, but then as I kept watching them play the guitar and then one day um, I saw my dad's guitar just laying on the floor and I said, you know what, you know, I, if, if I can remember correctly, there was a meeting that they were having and I was kind of bored. I was like, yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> but, and I said, well, you know what, there's a chord book, there's a guitar, how hard could it be? So I picked up the guitar and in a matter of less than five minutes, I, I can't even explain how I did it, but in a matter of five minutes, I learned all the basic chords. Um, so I just kept practicing, I kept playing, and then eventually my grandfather noticed that, and he said, here, you know, take take my guitar, you know. Um, he said, you know, if this is what you really want to do, I'm going to give this to you, and um, he said, but if I see that you lose interest, I'm taking it back, and well, he hasn't gotten it back yet. Um, so I thank God for that, I, I've learned a lot of instruments. I the, the next instrument that I learned was uh, piano. Piano is actually the not the most recent one. Um, I've really fallen in love with piano. Um, it's really fun. It's very. Um, it's an instrument that's very creative. You know that it, you can do so much with the piano, and I just really love how it sounds. I love and making new friends. Um, meeting new people is great. I every time uh, I go someplace new. And they introduced me, and I, I like just conversing with new people, you know, figuring out, you know, what kind of person they are, you know, and, you know, um, talking to them. Because it's always fun to, uh, it's, it's like, it's like music, you know, you, you listen to music for the first time, a certain type of song for the first time, and you're like, you know, I, I really haven't heard you before, but it sounds kind of cool. You know, and there are certain songs that you listen to and you're just like, sorry, I'll stay away from that. But there are songs, there are a lot of songs that you listen to and you're like, wow, we just click like that. Like, I love it, like, repeat. You know, I, I need to keep it on repeat. And that's how I see it with people. You know, there are certain people that, you know, that you should just distance yourself from. You know, just say, all right, you know, I'm not really going to play, play that much. I'm just going to keep my distance from it, but then there are others that you just click like that and you're just like, wow, we need to hang out more, we need to, and, and that's what how I see it when it comes to meeting new people. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about me that maybe I didn't answer or get to, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. Um, I will be posting my next video uh, next Friday and I, that will actually be my new schedule. Every Friday I'll be posting every new video. If you want to see maybe some sneak peeks or behind the scenes of what I do for my videos, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed it and look, to, look forward to seeing you in the next video. I just messed it up. I just messed it up. I had it fine. And you know what? You know what? Just bye. Just bye. You know what? Bye. I messed it up. I can't do this anymore. Actually, I will do this more, but I just can't do it right now. I just Done. Done. You know how you don't know how many takes it took me to actually get what I wanted to say and then I actually I'm done. Bye. See you.